Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, the setting is a little weird right now, I apologize. It's like 1.30 in the morning, but we need to get this issue with the truck remedied. So, as you can see up here, one of my map lights is completely out. See, this guy is working and this guy is not working. So, my friends, who you guys have seen before on this channel, over at LAS, LED lighting have been kind enough to send me a replacement set of LED map lights for my 2006 Ford F-150. So if you have the, uh, here, I'm going to readjust this camera real quick. I apologize. Okay. So if you guys have this type of console, just like I do, it's got like the sunglass holder thing right here and just two map lights right here and right here. Ooh, turn that guy back on. What you're going to need to do is basically get your, see I've already taken it down, but there's basically just a couple tabs right in here. This guy normally is like, see you can kind of hear it pop back in place. All you're going to do is get your fingers up here and just pull it down and it'll pop right out. So once you've got that guy popped out, we'll just go ahead and finish the job right here. See it's just my fingers right up here and out it comes. So. Oh, I'm going to need to switch hands with the camera real quick. Okay. So as you can see, this light over here is on, and this light over here should be on, but the light bulb is burned out. So we're going to have to remedy it. Remedy it. Wow, my words are not working right now. So what we're going to do first is turn this light off. Okay, so now that light is off. If you guys remember, just like every other light bulb switch in this uh, model of truck, it, all it has is a simple knob where you're going to turn to the left, pull out, and there is the light bulb that you're going to fix. Righty tighty lefty loosey. So you've got one right in here and one right over in here, and it's just twist to the left, pull it out. To switch out these light bulbs with the new LED ones, all you're going to do is very gently, but you're going to grab the old light bulb, kind of twist back and forth as you're pulling away, and these light bulbs will pop right out, just like that. So, take your old one, properly dispose of, and take one of your new LED lights, and it will plug back in the exact same way. Um, these, these guys, you don't have to worry about plugging them in this way or this way. Either way will work. There are some LED lights where you have to be particular with... Um, uh, which way you plug it in, some ways they will work, some ways they don't, but these you can plug in any way and they will work. So now that you've got your new LED light plugged in right here, I really wish this thing would focus. Now all you're going to do is put it back inside the thing where you twist it to the left and pulled out. Right in here. There we go. And you'll twist back to the right. Oh, actually I need to pop this one so it doesn't turn on <laughs> while I'm trying to twist it back in. Okay, so we're going to put it in, twist to the right, and now it is plugged back in. And now let's turn it on just to make sure that we're working. Oh, goodness gracious, we are cooking with gas right now. All right, real quick, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what this guy looks like and then what the stock one looks like. So you've got kind of like this dull yellowish light. I mean, you can you can see, but let's let let's take a look at what the new upgraded LED one looks like. Ah! As wow. Such a brighter light. I'm actually going to go ahead and plug this guy back in now and show you from the outside of the truck how much brighter the LED one is than the stock one is. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to put this guy, I'm going to install it back normally. I'm going to turn both lights on and show you from the outside of the cab so you guys can really see the drastic difference between the new ones, which are significantly brighter compared to the old ones. Okay, guys, so we're outside the truck right now. As you guys can see, this is the side, clearly, where the new LED light has been installed. Both lights are on, both map lights are on. And this side right over here is the side where you have the stock one. So it doesn't even completely illuminate all the inside of the truck and it's got this really dull yellowish glare, just like kind of like these outside lights have. But then when you come over here to where 
I mean, yeah, it's like kind of foggy and it rained and whatnot. But as you guys can see, like it's ridiculous just how much brighter these new LED ones are in comparison to the stock lights. Like, you can completely see, I mean, it's, I hope this camera is doing it justice as to like how it looks with your eyeballs. I mean, it is just freaking wild. Like, it almost doesn't even look like this side is on compared to how bright the other side is. Just crazy. All right guys, we're back inside the truck now to install the other one now that you guys have seen the comparison and how much f just unbelievably brighter and clearer the LED ones are, ones, ones, are in comparison to the other ones. So, like you, uh, I already showed you guys, I'll show you one more time just so you can see the other side. These are these little tabs where the, uh, where the light bulbs are. You just grab onto the black, twist to the left, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and they pop right out, guys. So, ooh, this actually looks kind of warm. I wonder why it's warm. All right, just like I showed you guys the last time, you're gonna, you know, firmly but gently, just kind of grab this light and just kind of twist and tug and pull, and it'll pop right out. You just want to make sure that you don't accidentally break it or anything while it's actually still stuck in here. You'll take your new light from my bros over at LAS Fit LED Lighting. This is what they look like in the package. We've already installed one of them. So, let's install the other one. As I uh, mentioned earlier, you don't have to worry with these guys about plugging it in this way or flipping it and plugging it in the other way because they will work either way you plug them in. They are designed to work either way. All right, so, there it is. I don't really need this tape measure in the shot. Sorry to flick you guys off. This is what it looks like installed. Now we're gonna come back up here and plug it right back in. And then it's just as simple as righty tighty, guys. You hear that little clip? That is it click, uh, clipping back in place. We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna line up these four tabs on the top and on the bottom. They just plug right back into where they popped out. We're gonna plug in this entire console back in and we'll show you what the entire thing looks like when we've got two brand new LED lights in here lighting up the entire cab. All right, so we've got both lights installed now. I tell you what, guys, it is, it's shocking how much better and brighter it is now that you can see. We've got both lights installed. As you can see, both sides are working. We got both LEDs in there, guys. I'll walk around and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the outside. Um, things are a little bit foggy right now because um, like I showed you guys in the earlier shot, it did rain. I'm wondering if I can turn my windshield wipers on real quick and get rid of some of this nonsense. All right, I'm gonna show you guys from the outside of the cab what it looks like with both lights on. I mean, here's just a side shot from the window. I mean, Jiminy Crickets, guys. It's like it's daylight outside. These things are so bright. You guys remember what it looked like earlier with the stock one in? And now look how much brighter this side is. I mean, look how, like, it's, guys, it's like 2 a.m. at night right now. You can see perfectly on the inside of the cab, like, it's freaking daylight outside. It's a good looking truck, not gonna lie. It is just crazy how much brighter these things are. Honestly, I wish I had learned about LED lights a long time ago, because this is definitely an upgrade I would have done to my truck a long, long time ago. I am definitely, definitely going to be upgrading my headlights now that I know how big of a difference LED lights make on these trucks, or just on lights in general in comparison to the stock. All right, guys, that's the whole video. That's the whole installation. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys and empowers you guys to be able to go out and do your own work on your own trucks. Because like I said in some of my, uh, some of my videos before, it doesn't matter if you don't feel like, you know, you've done enough to your truck or done enough cool things to your truck. If you're the one doing the work on your truck, that's what makes it freaking awesome. Don't forget that, guys. Um, side note, it's awesome that I can actually sign out the video inside my truck because the lighting from these new lights are so freaking bright. Um, thanks again to my buddies over at LAS uh, Fit Light LED Lighting for uh, hooking me up with um, not only the, um, the license plate LED lights, which you guys saw in a previous video, but for these new map lights as well. Um, I love these things, man. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be looking into doing the headlights now because, I mean, like I said, like I wish I'd learned about these things earlier. Um, that's kind of the fun part about doing work on this truck is that like I'm learning a lot as I'm going. Like I don't know everything there is to know about trucks or not even everything there is to know about like this specific model of F-150. It's a 2006 in case I didn't mention that already. But um, yeah, it's just fun. I love being able to, you know, learn as I go and 
meet new people and learn new things um, through this community that we're building right now. So it's awesome. Um, hey, by the way, if you guys want to get your truck featured in the next subscriber submission truck feature video, go ahead and you can either DM me on Instagram. My uh, Instagram information is always in the bio of my video, or you can shoot me an email. Um, I think that contact information is in the description of the video as well. If not, I'll probably put on the bottom like right now, my business email. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And we'll see you guys next time.